I am Erin, and I'm be going to be telling the story of Mary and Elizabeth while they are pregnant. So Elizabeth and Mary are cousins, and then they like, and then Mary went to Elizabeth's house because they were both pregnant, so that uh, Mary could tell Elizabeth the news and Elizabeth could tell Mary the news. So Mary knocks on the door. She's probably thinking to herself like, oh my gosh, God gave me this job to give birth to Jesus. And I'm only like a young person. And I don't have like that many, I'm not that special. And then Elizabeth opens it and Elizabeth's like, oh, hello. And Mary's like, Hi, guess what? Um, God made me the mother of Jesus, the savior of the world. And then Elizabeth is just standing there probably thinking, what is she talking about? Is my cousin really giving birth to God's special child? And then um, Mary is like, yeah, it's true. And then suddenly um, Elizabeth's stomach starts moving. John the Baptist that was in her stomach started like bouncing around because um, John the Baptist knew like Jesus was in Mary's stomach and they were right next to each other. Mary's like, wait, what? And Elizabeth's like, yeah, I'm pregnant too. And they're like screaming and being excited and jumping around. And then she sings a song. Okay, so she starts, she just sings out of nowhere, right? Yeah. So what was she singing about? You don't have to sing if you don't want to. But what was she singing about? She was like praising the Lord that they were that they both just happened to be pregnant at the same time, and thanking him that she was the that he chose her to give birth to his child. She would probably sing something like, "Thank you, Lord. Oh my gosh, you're so amazing. You're the best, and I can't believe you chose me. And thank you for." giving Elizabeth a child as well. And then Mary didn't feel like walking all the way back home, so she stayed with her cousin for three months, um, talking and being excited and eating lots of donuts.